I'll look at DL. I'm going to go to this verse, right? 1 John 5, 7. Uh-huh. And I'll show you the evidence that it has been omitted. Watch this, everybody. And it's called the... Uh, the hanging comma, right? And it's a short clause found in 1 John 5, 7 through 8 uh, in the King James Version of the Bible, and it contains that comma, right? And it has been omitted, the, uh, uh, it has been omitted, the text of, and the comma from his first and second editions of the Greek, Latin, and New Testament, right? Because it was not in his Greek manuscript, right? So it wasn't there. What uh, Greek man? What Greek manuscript? I guess talking about your, uh, hold up, I'll give it to you right here. Was it, uh, Sinaiticus, uh, Washingtonianus, uh, you know, was it, uh, Textus Receptus, which one? Um, I'll give it to you right here. For somebody that it, pops off. All yeah, right, so it says here, it says here, 1 John 5, five 7. It's the Textus Receptus. Remember that. And that's study cool. It. Well, I'm not right. trying to stay so, focused here. So I'm not trying so to stay focused. I, I know how y'all guys you, get down. You, so you, I, you I know when y'all start talking, y'all going to ask me a question and you're going to go on another tangent. So I just want to stick you in the corner right now. I know how you guys get down. Trust me. I've been dealing with you for a while. Proverbs chapter you look for anything to swing off says, on to have a different conversation. Proverbs, I'm Proverbs gonna keep you in this corner, 30, and I don't want to answer says, anything else because I know I can get down, bro. Or he will rebuke you, and you will be proved a liar. Okay, so can I finish? Right. Okay, so, so it says here, one John five seven. <laughs> that was in the King James Bible, uh, and, it was, and and the Christian said they preserve it, but the passage was removed from many Greek manuscripts. Because of the problems it seemed to cause. What is true? problems did it cause? Do you want me to read it? <laughs> what problems did it cause, man? I have it in my King James Version. I, I mean, yeah, it, it's not does in your NIV hemorrhoids though. or, you know. It's like not in your NIV hepatitis. version. Why? Why is it not in your NIV version? <laughs> because the NIV uses different manuscripts. No, 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 no. I'm talking about if it's the word of God, right? Then yeah. 1 John 5, 7 should also uh, be in your NIV version, right? Why was it removed, Amir? It doesn't matter why it was removed because it's not the word of God, obviously. <laughs> okay. okay. So how do you know well, that been it was inserted, removed? It's it been inserted in the scripture. Okay, but how, do you, how did they know it was inserted? That's what they said. They can't find it in the, early, in the earliest manuscripts. Right. So what does that tell you about our manuscript evidence and tradition? That people write things down and say it's the word of God because a thousand no, people. No. What, I mean, what, uh, I mean, it does, listen, over a thousand does, years, people what, believe what in does, this particular scripture and they're right, dead. Young now. Lady, calm down, they're young dead lady. now. What it what it does is it proves the prophets to be true. So here's Solomon in chapter thirty of Proverbs. Oh my God, verse six. He says, he says, "Don't add to his words, or he will rebuke you, and you will be proved a liar." See, we know when things crept into our manuscripts because our manuscript evidence is the best attested of any documents of antiquity. That's a lie. Every According time you to talk Mr. about... Co every, every, Co every, hang on, Amir. Every time you bring up the argument that things were added and subtracted, the only way you know that is because mm -hmm. of our manuscript evidence, which is pristine. And okay. you're just proving the fact that, that our that our word, the word of God, as it was revealed, has not changed. And it's so it's so much the word of God that when when eras pop up, we know when they're there. We know when it's not the word of God. That's how we can remove it. We can't do that with the Quran because you had that literary barbecue about 20 years after Zayed bin Thabit supposedly put the original one together. So we can't go back and study these manuscript traditions and manuscript families that would have resulted from people making copies of the Quran. Uh, but, uh, you know, they were all collected under Uthman and burned. Mm. That didn't happen in Christianity. That's why we're able mm. to see when things crept in. So keep mm. on no. making the argument that, 
things were added and subtracted because you're just mm-hmm. proving how well attested our textual uh, transmission and, and no and, uh, no and tradition. That's not gonna cut it, buddy. That's not gonna cut it. Yes, buddy. it does. It absolutely it does. I'm gonna tell yes, you how it does. I'm gonna tell you how it doesn't. <laughs> so I told you. It says Mr. Uh, C. J. Uh, Codex uh, has a, a following to say in this book. He said the life of Jesus in the four Gospels. Therefore, the main documents to which we must go if we if we are to f- to fill out at all that bare sketch which we can put together from uh, other sources, we find material of widely differing differing quality as regards credibility. So far fetching is the element of uncertainty that it is tempting to drown to down tools at once and to declare the task hopeless the historical inconsistencies and improbabilities in parts of the gospels form some of the arguments advanced in favor of the christ myth theory these are however entirely overweighed as we have shown by other considerations still the discrepancies and uncertainties that remain are serious and consequently many moderns who have no doubt whatever of jesus real existence regard as hopeless any attempts to dissolve out of the historically true form the legendary or mythical matter which the gospels contain and to reconstruct the story of jesus mission out of the more historical residue see we know when things crept into our manuscripts because our manuscript evidence is the best attested of any documents of antiquity